So on day two of this weekend, I decided to do a little bit more assembly on my 104. Today I put the intake manifold on. I also tightened it to 25 newton meters as per the exhaust manifolds. I'm not sure if there's an official figure on it, but that worked for me. This tab here is used on the later 104s that this oil filter housing came from. I believe it might foul the early intake manifold, so I did grind that off previously. Uh, the water pump and the hose, etc. is all new. The thermostat inside is new. Thermostat cover is new. That is the blanking plate that went to the, well, blocks off the connection to the old oil cooler that's no longer present. And you'll notice that the water pump now has hex head bolts holding it instead of allen head bolts. They fit and they work. I don't know why they didn't do this from the factory. Uh, allen head bolts are so easy to strip out and this way you can easily fit a small um, ring spanner in there and just loosen them out. So if I ever need to take that pump off again it's going to be a piece of cake. Uh, I then proceeded to install the uh, compressor bracket that has a gasket behind it on these 104s because it also has the crankcase ventilation go through it as well. So this engine is starting to look uh, more assembled by the day. I am still waiting for the fan bearing bracket at the front. Um, once I've got that I can really get stuck into assembling it. So the support brackets are installed for the intake manifold as well as the cruise control actuator and the knock sensors are in as well.